Hey everybody, welcome to the FK1 build series of videos. This particular video is going to walk you through the process of... So hopefully this will help you with this step or at least kill your curiosity on how this all went together. If you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. Thumbs ups are always appreciated as well. Now watch this. All right, so in this part, I want to show you uh, how I went about tapping the end of the extrusions. Now, uh, you can do this uh, you can do this by hand or you can do it by power. Uh, I will admit I did most of the tapping using my, my drill by setting it on low speed and setting the, the clutch to slip. Uh, I found for my particular drill that seven was a good spot that it would uh, it would still it would still kick the clutch over when needed, but yet it still had enough power to tap it. Uh, otherwise, you can do it by hand, which is how I did the first few, and that is definitely the safest way because you can you can feel when it's binding up. Something that I'm going to highly suggest, and there will be a link in the description for this. This is a block that I designed for tapping out the end of the extrusion to help keep the tap straight. Um, and it works well. I can only guarantee that it will work on uh, openbuilds.com's V-slot aluminum. It will not work on T-slot. It's, it's just not it's just not made for that. Well, I say that. Maybe it will, but uh, I can't guarantee it. So, but what this, what this guy does, and let me show you a detail of it. Uh, it just slides right over the top, and I probably should have done this in a different color other than black, but it just slides over the extrusion like this. It gives you a little bit of a gap in there, and, uh, and it lines up these holes with the holes in the extrusion so that when you are tapping it, it's keeping that tap straight to the hole of the, of the, uh, linear rail of the V slot. So, and you can just, you can just thread out the end of the, the end of the uh, extrusion. Now you're going to get to a point and this hole's already been extruded. That's why, or uh, tapped. That's why it's going in so quick, but um, you're going to get to a point where the tool meets the end of this guide. And then of course you can't, can't go any further. So you have to take it off. And you remove the guide and by then you've already got enough of that hole threaded that you can manually thread this back in and then you can thread it to the depth that you want. Now if you're only running say a 10 millimeter or an 8 millimeter screw into there then it's it's probably already going to be enough. Um, I, I went ahead and tapped everything to the full depth of my tap just so that I would not run into an issue. Because as you tap in, as you thread it in, the end here isn't a full isn't a full thread. So if you only tap it exactly to the depth you need, as you run that screw in, it's gonna it's gonna bind up in there and it won't be good. So, but that's uh, that's that's a good easy way to go ahead and tap all the ends of your of your extrusions. And for this particular project, uh, the end of every extrusion needs to be tapped every one of them, the, the uprights, everything. So, but that brings us to the next section of what do I do with my extrusions? So I came up with this, with this labeling system. This is just blue painters tape stuck to my extrusion. So it comes off nice and easily. And as you can see, that says upright and you can see that there's dots here and here, and then I have arrows up here and arrows up here. Now what that means is where these dots are, that means down at this end, I have to drill two holes. Down at this end, I have to drill three holes. Then coming through this way, I have to do three holes. And coming through this way, I have to do two holes. And I came up with another tool for that. Um, this, I'm just using two blocks of wood with some some bubble wrap on top of it is not to scratch up the extrusion, but, um, so I came up with this little tool right here and I printed a left and a right. And then I realized that that may actually not be necessary. So, um, regardless, here's the part. 
And what this is, is it looks like this. And then you use these bushings and all of these parts will be in the build of materials for this project so that you can order your own. And those are 5 16 outer diameter by 3 16 inner diameter. And I went, I went imperial on these because metric were hard to find. And if I did find them, they were excessively expensive. So I went imperial. I figured out what size hole I needed to be able to run my Allen key through it without any problem. And that's, that's what I came up with. So, but by plugging these in, and I'm gonna go back to my demo piece here. By plugging those in, I can now take this piece and lock it onto my extrusion, making sure that it's fully seated and butted to this little guide right here. And now I can take my drill and drill through here without having to have a drill press. You can do it with a hand drill as long as you're, you know, careful and steady. And uh, I can drill those holes. If I need two, I can drill two. If I need three, I can drill three. Now, this particular design I made, um, you can see these little arrows, and that's actually for measurements. But um, I don't think with the guide on the end of this, that's necessary. But I am working on the design of another piece here, which has got an end guide or um, end mark as well. And that can go in because we've got a couple spots where we have to drill in the middle of the extrusion for the bed supports. And uh, it will work the same way. Uh, I just have to put the retainers on it so but then you'll be able to measure you'll be able to measure from the end to the center point on that to know that you're going to hit the middle of the hole to be able to mount the the cross supports the cross members if you will so i'm going to go ahead and uh drill live right now this particular upright i will uh I will do the three holes down at this end. And again, those three holes, those three holes are going to attach into the cross piece of the bottom. That's why there's three, because the bottom is 20 by 60. And then the three that go in from this way will be going to the 20, 60, this way, the long frame. So I'm going to, I'm going to move this block over because I want to put this end up on top of this box to catch the shavings because I'm not in the shop. I'm in the studio, obviously. So now here's, here's a situation where I thought I needed the left and right. This particular block fits up here, but I need the holes down here. So I thought, you know, in my head, I thought, okay, well, let's make a left-hand side and a right-hand side so that we have both. But what I didn't think about is really, I can just flip this extrusion over and mount it here and that is going to give me the opportunity to drill through this in the right in the right channel now if you um if you are unfortunate or uncareful you may end up with scratches on your extrusions so now may be a great time to look them over and make sure which side you want facing in and which side you want facing out so if you did end up with any scratches or damage to your to your extrusions, now would be the time to kind of compensate for that. So, and once again, I'm gonna make sure that that's where I need it to be. And just so that I know that it does not move, I'm gonna use a quick clamp like this. Uh, I have modeled, I have modeled mounting holes in the side of that if you wanted to put a couple of T-nuts in there and a couple of screws to mount it right to the extrusion. But I find that this, is just as effective and way, way quicker. So, and now I'm going to take my drill and this will make a bunch of noise, so I'll probably edit it out. But uh, and we're just gonna drill three easy holes. Oh, make sure you set your clutch back to full bore. And remember, when you're drilling through there, you're actually making two holes. Uh, you have to break. You have to break the surface. Let's uh, reach over here. You have to break the surface into this center hole, and then you're breaking the surface out of that hole. So you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it go through, 
but you got to make sure that you you punch through to the second one so let's see if we can get you guys in closer to see me run some holes because that's got to be riveting and here we go again let's turn that up to high speed So the other the other problem with that with that where you're drilling technically two holes is as soon as you punch through that first one it it may bind up a little bit so Now we're going to take that off and and here you can see the reason for the box why I don't really suggest doing this in your in your house or in your YouTube studio or anywhere else that you may be ever walking with bare feet so but I mean if you do as I am then uh, just make sure that you have something to catch the shavings with and that's that's that now the three holes that go through obviously it doesn't matter which way they go because it's gonna go all the way through the long way so you can you can put the jig on either side it doesn't matter as long as you know that this is the three hole side and this is the two hole side or vice versa so and uh same deal gonna clamp it on making sure that it's seated all the way clamp it on three more holes here and then the four holes on that side and this guy is ready to go into place all right, so I hope that video was helpful in either assembling your printer or at least you know just watching the progress of me build mine. Uh, if there was anything that you didn't understand or if I missed something or made a mistake in something, please go ahead and leave a comment on this video so that I can answer it here and it'll help anybody in the future that might watch this video. Again, we would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you are notified each time that we release not only another series in the fk1 build but also everything else that we produce thumbs ups are always appreciated if you don't like what we're doing please let us know let us know what we can do to change because that's the way we grow we hope you're liking the fk1 series of builds spam it Bing. and as always print on